welcome, welcome. We're going into hard mode again. Uh, it's it's hard. <laughs> it's quite quite frankly, it's a very difficult mode here. Uh, maybe I should try and win on normal just once, but that's that's not a that's not it, fam. Uh, I like buying lots of units, but maybe that doesn't make sense in this context. Uh, I think that getting our air units as far back as possible and probably stacked on the side that has the least amount of anti-air makes sense. Um, getting some fangs coming out like slow, eh, maybe maybe in a straight line, but, but slow nonetheless, um, is not bad. And then how do we deal with these melty boys? I think we could just go for our own crawlers. Honestly, our own crawlers would be pretty sick in this situation. I was thinking about going longer term with the thinking and getting some Phoenix though. Just really, um, we're gonna lose this side real fast, but it might be worth it. Just this cool air squadron. You know, you guys just need to hold the line as long as possible. You guys, I'm hoping, can get through to these fangs fast. Let's see it. Oh no. I think our, our air units are going to get slaughtered by this squad of fangs. Can we get through them fast enough? We're going to have so much left for them to kill. I was just hoping to have as many air units as possible at the end here. Even with this destruction, though, we might still be able to get in on their research center in time. It doesn't seem like it, though. It seems like they're going to get a second debuff on us. And then, uh... Ooh, maybe you guys will defend it, though? Oh! Oh, come on, keep shooting! Keep shooting! No! <laughs> Timing! Timing! Blow up the base! Blow up the base! I mean, there might be a world in which this works. There's so many fangs left. No, they're in range. And we're only killing their base now. I literally lost every unit this round. Oh, no. Because three fangs cannot beat so many ground troopers. Pew, 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 pew. Even if they were on debuff the whole time. They just, they have enough. What? A, I just can't seem to win. I mean, I could have won that first round by doing the... Uh, Ooh, enhancement module is interesting. I'm going to take the tech specialist. I could have won that first round. Could have won that first round by just doing some stuff. Some crawlers. Perhaps we just go in for the fangs. We have fangs offered to us. We take the loan. We buy some more fangs. And with extended range... You know, we just hope that, that that's enough. Uh, and we go for attack to keep them off of us. W using our range to our best advantage here. How long distance is the Mustang? Not too bad. Again, hoping for the range here to bail us out. Bailing us out. Look at the pew 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 pew. It's Clone Wars, right? Big battle on uh, Genosis. Geonosis. Oh no. Oh no. We got melted again. Alright, mechanical rage next, okay? Maybe or maybe some shields. I don't I don't really know. There's something that we can do to win these. I don't know what it is. Uh clearly it's not the build that I'm building. Or maybe I'm playing the long game right now and we're taking acceptable losses to an end that will be that will be good but right now it doesn't feel that way sure sure freaking doesn't um yeah did they have upgrades on their boys no they're just they're just good they're just better than me they're just so much better than me i mean taking some health damage isn't that bad it's the fact that we're not getting any xp that is real not good uh so we can level you up okay here's the thing we need to take intensive training. We have no money because I took a loan next turn, but if I level you up, you're still in it. 
Then I can apply you here and we can level you up. And then I have to take another freaking loan. But again, here we're going to get... I mean, <laughs> we're going to die to those freaking... Uh, these freaking rhinos. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I wish I had something to do about it. But I don't. So I'm just going to keep leveling up. This seems like a really good power, though. So now I can level up people when they're about to be deadified. Um, maybe the wasps get the shields after all. Maybe I needed to get some phoenix on this side to deal with this rhino. He's certainly going to chew through my lines here with his mechanical rage. We got him to half health, but now he's going to now he's gonna walk through. He's going to blow up our base. I was hoping that by being super strong on one side... We would blow up their base ahead of time. But we're just not quite, like, the the wasp just don't quite get there. Maybe if they had range? We did get the tech specialty. Um, it's If the phoenix went after it, it would be much faster, actually, if you believe it. Like, if, if they had gone the other way with it, we would have been just chilling. Instead, we are not chilling. Instead, we are taking we are taking hits to our durability. Survive, Phoenix, please. All right, blow up the base. All right, now you might survive. Yes, yes. Ooh, okay. All right, now they got big units. I mean, Junior, dude, is pretty good. At five hundred dollars. The discount is nice. And then... I mean, honestly, as much as I don't want to go for steel balls, but as much as I don't want to go for steel balls, like, I kind of just have to. Because they counter the fortress, right? It's that or Phoenix, but the fortress's shield is 40,000. The Phoenix attack is 3,500. So it's 7,000... Right, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. It's six rounds of shooting, right? Six times three seconds, that's 20 seconds into the battle. That's more than a nuke. Uh, the Stormcaller, on the other hand, could do quite a bit of damage. Maybe that's where we lean into, actually. Yeah, you know what? Stormcaller is good at doing damage to blow up that shield in time. I'm going to believe in it. I'm going to believe in it. That's what I'm going to do. We're going missiles inbound. The shields are going down pretty quick. People are shooting. I mean, the missiles are good as well after the fact when it comes to killing other things. The anti-air missile there was really quite good. Oh, I didn't use my power. I don't actually know the cooldown on it. Uh, if there is one and whatnot. He got, the, uh, he got a hit on me on my base on this side. It's pretty ungood. Perhaps what's going to happen here is my people are going to slowly turn to face. No, the Phoenix are just going to give her. Still, we are pretty good at killing their Phoenix with extended range fangs. And now that we got their debuff, I actually feel okay. I, I mean, if these fangs just can stay alive, then it means that we won't have to reset their durability sooner. But that's fine. Bye, dude. I hope you enjoyed it while it lasted. Oh, no. Don't blow up my base, though. Don't blow up my base. No! Don't do it. Oh, well, whatever. We still have air units, so we win. But what a, what a fight. Ah! All right, what is this? Aerial isn't bad. Acid Blast is two rounds. You put that on the side with the tanks and we're in, I think. Um, cool down one round. Okay. 
I mean, I need anti-tank. So that is going to be a level three Phoenix. Again, I'd love to give it this tech. I'd love to buy another level three Phoenix. Should I? Probably not. Not if I can get more... Well, I don't know. I just feel like this getting incendiary rounds would be a big deal. We have the tech specialist, right? So we do that, and then we still have enough for another shooter. I don't know. There's a chance. There's a lot of leveling up that we get to do. So even if we lose this round, we've got a good, we got a chance. You know? There's the acid. I'm hoping that that destroying the defensive units will be big. Okay, we killed their air units. Our air units are just charging forward, but it's fine. The tank should die. I'm sad to see how much we've lost. Uh, the acid is doing a lot for us. But is it enough? I would argue not. I would argue certainly not. I think our freaking wasp just went into their death. Um, still though, like, oh, did we get incendiary? Oh, we did. Well, damn, there might be a chance now, even with the debuff. If we shoot at these front units. Yeah, flame. Flame. I mean, I'm feeling decent that we actually didn't lose, you know? Decent amount of health. We're streaming. We do be chilling. I mean, these are level three units, right? So we did lose a squad of fangs over here, unfortunately. But hey, skin of our teeth. We're moving on. Shield airdrop. Advanced attack. Ion beam. Okay, you need things that stick around from round to round. Advanced attack works really well with the overlord. It's so much money though. It also works well with storm callers. You need to stay alive. There are so many freaking units right now, man. I mean, yeah, you guys come in here. And you, I don't want to lose you. More air units could be good, but I think for now, this is just Stormcaller Central. Um, and this side has more units than the others. You've got the lowest, and you've got the lowest. Um, yeah, I mean, we could take a loan and level up more units, but no one's about to lose all of their durability, so this seems okay. Again, it's nasty. It's a good thing we got that uh, stuff on the ground. Unfortunately, these Phoenix still charge forward and just die. And so do these ones. I really kind of messed up their placement at the start. But, you know, we got missiles. They do damage. People are standing in the acid. Um, so that worked out really well. And they're actually still fighting over here. So, I mean, this is pretty good. There's a lot of fire, means that we might just win it with a lot. Now, do we lose any units? I don't think so. Well, actually, maybe these uh, swarm boys, yeah. Incendiary air sh ooh, ooh. We're not really running into these missiles, but what I'll do is maybe put out just like a shield here this might be enough for our our phoenix to run forward what do you got here oh man um i would like mechanical rage level four fortress well damn well damn i guess we need overlords then and you put it here I mean, can we just get two of them back here? 
Are we allowed? Is this allowed? Um, something like I don't. I just don't want them to get killed by the opponent just focusing them immediately. But I guess what I could do is mass recruitment and then plus one. I'm almost just banking on the fact that um, these units are going to get dealt with by this artillery. Um, you're low enough that let's just upgrade you now. Who deserves enough XP? One of these guys seems good. I don't have to do anything right now for XP. Let's save it till next round so we can put it on something that matters. Again, we could have put that shield in a different spot, but because these guys need to spawn in, I felt okay about it. We do have extended range here, and we did spawn some fangs. Uh, doesn't seem like it was good enough, though, did it, does it? That, that debuff is so massive. We do have air units, but they are going to die. And they've got ground units, and that is, that's not good for us. Thankfully, we still have some boys left, but again, here comes the missile. Yeah, e e not loving this. No, nope, no siree. At least we finally destroyed uh, the shields, and with our artillery, we got some flame on their giants. Ugh, it's, it's just so strong. Level 4 fortress, right? Like, how do you even... These these boys are not going to have the damage they need. Oh, we were just about to kill their base if it had taken one more second for them to close the distance. And you've got, like, no health. Oh, that's annoying. That's so annoying. I mean, maybe, because this guy's so bad at uh, attacking individuals... And he's got. I don't think he needs to kill them one at a time, though. I think he has some AoE. 4.5 meters, yeah. Just so big. So strong. So we had lots of health, so. Do those missiles stay, though? No, they don't. Okay, I was worried that they would stay. Extended range marksman. We don't have any. Electromagnetic blast seems really good. Um, you can level up. You're about to die. You're about to die. You need a level up. So that's what this is for. Um, we can just buy more storm callers right now. They do seem to be like the thing that holds our whole team together. So sure, we'll buy one here, we'll take that cash advance, and we'll take another one here, and then with our extra cash, we just get a couple of upgrades, one there, and one here. Alright, I don't think we need anti-tech, though these guys having jump drive and maintenance is pretty nasty. I think we have enough just like random dudes though. We might not, but this is only uh, 25 seconds of, of anti-tech. I guess we'll do it just for the overlords not to have jump drive and stuff. Everything else I don't really care about. Their Mustangs having extended range and extra damage is nasty, but... Hmm, it's not so bad. We kill the flankers, and then we don't walk in our own fire. We kill their attack. We have lots of fire. Alright, let's not kill our own units here, which is what I'm worried about. Okay, they did kill my Phoenix. They do be charging forward. A lot of my units are going to die, unfortunately. Probably to my own flames. And once again, uh, we lost our base. But... So maybe okay? No, it's not okay, because their overlords not only survive, but healed back to full. Yeah, okay. Uh, I have no anti-air. It was supposed to be my phoenix, but they died. And they continue to die. Um, I mean, we're, we're not taking an insane amount of damage. Round 9. 
attack specialist seems insanely important. They have a lot of units coming in. I think if we just put some acid down ahead of the shields, we'll be fine. What can we get for units? Some Mustangs for some anti-large. I mean, you guys are literally about to die. Oh. If I get you extended range, you're kind of still in it. If I get you, we get more anti freaking grounder dudes. Another rapid resupply? What am I going to get with it, though? Like, no, I need to just have hope. Which is not a great place to be, but I've got a lot of storm callers. These guys did die immediately. We are doing some stuff here. They are lasering my individual units with a lot of flame and now poison stuff on the ground. They are going to blow up my base. God damn. I never stand in like I just can't stand up to these opponents. They just like the fangs that are super high level like with, the, with extended attack and all this other stuff like I think we might be fine if the debuff ends perfectly but this extended range melting point is gonna be nasty so we're trying missiles inbound a lot of fire no I mean enough enough to slow them down apparently Oh, wow, that actually did a decent amount of damage. But he has a, a repair nano kit on him, so... Okay, fine. Now, that means I lost both my big boys, right? Oh, my God, that's annoying. Mass-produced bad, sticky good. Sticky oil. What I need to do is make sure that my base doesn't get blown up. Okay. I need to upgrade you guys. You guys need probably mechanical rage, but... Or shields. Maybe it's just shields, but I think it's mechanical rage. So that's cool. Um, I don't want to lose these units right now. The oil goes here. It's going to get lit on fire. It's gonna. It's gotta. Uh, he doesn't have any air. He does have a lot of ground forces. I think I think you go back into the overlords, but maybe you go electromagnetic? No, he's got overlords. Yes. I mean you go marksman. But no, I think you gotta go. Gotta, gotta go here. We have extended range on them. And then you get upgraded, you get upgraded, and $97 is not quite enough for anything else. Um, I'm just going to use this on the Overlord so it's ready to go next turn if I have to. But yeah, so these things die, we got a shield, we oil them up pretty good, it all gets lit on fire, they are connecting with my team unfortunately. And they did blow up my base immediately. And that means that they're just going to run through. This Rhino with Repair Kit and Mechanical Rage is not something I can kill. And then they air to air me. And then I lose 2,000 health. Wow. I need to deploy my people ahead of the freaking... Like, they just swore! Ah! Last time I got to round 11 before dying. This is annoying. Looks like we're gonna make it, but like, I need to win two rounds? Range specialist. I don't have anti air. Certainly not against motherships. But like, yeah, you know, okay, fine. We buy you. Great. We get a loan. Great. We buy some anti air capabilities. You're about to die. You're all about to die. I don't have any money for these upgrades. We're all going to die. No one has any experience. Extended speed. I mean, if I buy the speed bonus, it might get our people to move far enough ahead 
that they protect our freaking base, okay? There's so much crap. And we're gonna lose all of our freaking fangs to these missiles. They just de got deleted. Um, so I don't know what that leaves us, but it's certainly not winning chances. And all of these overlords are producing. Oh, how do you kill an infinite number of overlords and an infinite number of like fully upgraded fangs like those two rounds in particular are just not ones that i know or understand how to fight and if you specialize against one you get slaughtered by the other wow what do you do what do you do anyways i hope you enjoyed i'll see you in the next one ciao for now